Hey, what's going on guys? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're going to learn about PHP CURL. Okay, so CURL stands for Client URL, and it's a library that lets you make HTTP requests in PHP. I'm just going to refer to it as curl because it's just easier for me to say that. So we create, first of all, we create the curl resource with curl initialize function. That's the first step. The second step is to set curl options using curl set opt function. And finally, the third step is to run curl or execute the HTTP request with curl execute function. And there's a fourth step where we can close curl uh, resource with curl underscore close function to free up the resources. So that's how we create curl uh, request. Now let's go ahead and actually create one. Okay, so I'm gonna create the variable curl and initialize the resource. Now the curl is going to be data type curl resource. And when that happens, when we have a curl resource, we are able to use uh, functions that are specifically designed for that resource, like curl underscore set opt, which is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna curl uh, set opt resource curl resource and then I'm going to use this constant curl opt underscore URL and provide the actual URL which we which is going to be loaded um, in the curl and then I'm going to execute the command with curl exact and um, that's how we create curl request let's go ahead and test that Okay, so I've just loaded this file in a browser and happy Halloween. Google is being loaded using uh, our curl request. Awesome. So um, that's how you create curl request. Now, let's do something more fun. I'm going to go ahead and go to Amazon.com now. And for the Amazon.com, they actually use the HTTPS protocol. And in order for us to load this page, we're gonna set our curl opt SSL verify peer to false. So that's just one of the uh, other curl options. So I'm gonna use the same function here, provide our resource, and then the constant is curl opt SSL verify peer and then false. And then here I'm going to load amazon.com and then go back to the browser and see what happens. And now you can see that the PHP curl is being loaded and the amazon.com is being loaded dynamically. Now, <clears throat> so that's how that works. And if I comment out this uh, option here, nothing's gonna show up because uh, it's because Amazon is using the HTTPS protocol, it's not gonna work because uh, it's a uh, it's a secure protocol. So make sure to set this uh, verify peer to false if you're, gonna, if you're gonna load Amazon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go back to Amazon.com, and uh, we're gonna do something fun now. I'm gonna go forward slash s, and then for the field keywords. Just type this in, uh, underscore s, I mean forward slash s, and then forward slash field dash keywords equals PC video games 2016. That's how we create a search on Amazon using that kind of URL. And what you're gonna see here is just a bunch of video games show up, uh, PC video games for 2016. And now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, match every uh, image of the game and then we're gonna print them out individually into our uh, script so in order for us to do that I'm gonna go ahead and open up my uh, developer tools here in Chrome and I'm gonna go ahead and click on inspect and click on this image here and on the right hand side I'm gonna get a bunch of code here and if I roll my mouse over this URL here, this image is going to pop up. So that's the URL that I want to match. So I'm going to double click on this, 
copy this whole URL. Okay, um, hold on one sec. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I can close the developer tools and go back to coding. Okay, so for now I'm just going to leave this URL here for, um, for matching later. And uh, there's another option that you can set called uh, curl set opt curl. If I set the option to curl opt underscore return transfer true and then I went back to the browser nothing is gonna show up so what this option does here is we're able to store the result in a browser instead of I mean in a variable instead of uh, instead of automatically printed it in a browser so I can say a result equals curl execute curl and let's go ahead and also close curl here free up system resources so now the result is going to be stored in the result. So all the HTML, instead of being printed out to the browser automatically, is now stored inside the result. So if I went ahead and echoed that out, it's going to print out the Amazon stuff here. Now let's actually go ahead and um, create that search uh, URL instead. Uh, so I'm just going to create another variable here called URL and then copy this thing here and then uh, gonna enclose that in double quotes and then forward slash s field keywords equals and then I'm actually gonna create another variable called search string equals PC video games 2016 for example and then I'm just gonna put that inside of this string and for the URL, I'm just going to put the URL variable here. So now, if I refresh this page, nothing is showing up for some reason. Um, okay, I missed this, misspelled this. Field keywords, make sure that's spelled right. So now this, uh, this page has been loaded with PC video games, uh, just like I wanted to. So... At this point, I can use pragmatch all function to match all those image names. So, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do here pragmatch all. And then I'm just gonna copy this URL that we uh, copied er earlier. And um, in this image URL, basically, anything this part is always going to stay the same because that's how Amazon's what that's where Amazon stores its images and um, this part is also going to stay the same so the only part that's going to change is this uh, identifier here which is a unique image name so I'm gonna insert some regular expression here and I'm gonna say match everything but spaces basically so this is the regular expression to match any character but the space and don't worry about if you don't understand this for now I'm gonna create another video about regular expressions later for now just understand that it's matching anything uh, except spaces so it's gonna match a bunch of uh, these URLs which are gonna contain um, this uh, URL here and at the end it's gonna have the US 160 underscore dot JPG so and for the matching, I'm going to uh, actually provide our curl resource result and store that inside matches variable. And now if we print that out, matches, let's see what happens. Okay, looks like it's matching all the image names now. So I just went to view page source to view the array. And actually, this is exactly what I wanted. So as you can see, it's matching all these uh, URLs, just like I said, uh, with uh, different image identifiers here. So, so what it does is just goes through the page and finds all those image URLs and matches all of them. So next, uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and print those images out to the browser now. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure 
there are no duplicate values in this array because right now it looks like there's some duplicates yep there's it's matching duplicate URLs which is not what we want so I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna say um, images equals array unique matches matches zero and now if I refresh this page go to view page source uh, messed up hmm matches let's try this huh images array unique wait what print r matches okay so this one is matches zero and then let's try this okay so images equals array unique matches zero oh I think I <laughs> forgot to print that okay now print the array back and uh, okay so now the array is unique so it's printing it's matching and printing only the unique uh, images and now also the array keys have been messed up so I'm gonna use another function called array values to reset the array keys back to normal so the array keys have been now reset to 0 from 26 and now we're ready to print out those images to the screen which is what I ultimately want to do here so I'm gonna create a loop to loop through the array here okay and then I'm just gonna copy and paste this piece of code here okay so what it's gonna do is gonna loop through all these images and it's gonna use the image IMG uh, HTML tag and it's gonna say image source equals uh, whatever the URL of the image that we're matching is and if I go to back to the browser now hold on okay let's load the browser and it should print all those image names yep so that's what I wanted to do here I I matched all the image names and then I've created a loop to, to loop through all those images and output them into the browser so that's one of the uh, examples that you can, uh, what you can do with curl. You can uh, load some page uh, on a website, and then you can uh, you can match all those image names and format them, format the content in whatever way you want. So if I change the string here, for example, to movies, movies twenty fifteen, for example, refresh the page. Now all the movies. Have been matched and printed out because we've searched uh, we searched for the movies now so that's uh, an example of curl and uh, if you guys found this video useful please like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time clever techie out